All right, so we're going to do linear combinations, or many of you probably called it elimination, because what you do is eliminate one of the variables, which is always the goal, because right now we're stuck with two. And so one thing you can do is just say, okay, well, 7y and 7y. If we subtract these two equations, the 7y's will cancel out. I always like to think of, let's make them all negative, multiply through by a negative 1, because I make mistakes when I subtract a negative and things like that. So 5x, the 7y's cancel, and so that equals 9 minus 24, which gives you 15, and a negative 15, that is. Um, then x equals negative 3. When you plug it back in, plug it into either or, I'm going to plug it back into the, the one with smaller numbers here. Although you could make the case for either one. Um, 6 times negative 3 plus 7 times y. And notice I'm plugging it in prior to the negatives just because I can. Negative 18, 7y. And so if I add 18 to both sides, that's 42, and then y equals 6 after I divide by 7. Check it. Plug it back into your other equation here, because we're all possibly making mistakes. It's, we're capable of it. So negative 33 plus 42 equals 9, and that makes sense, so it checks out. So negative 3 comma 6 is our answer. Now, that one we really only had to multiply by a negative 1, or we could have just subtracted 9 minus 24. But sometimes, you have to multiply it by an actual number. So in this case, 12 and 3, if you multiply the 3 by a 4, you can get 12. Or if you multiply this 4, by a 2, you can get 8. And so that's what I'm going to choose just because I like multiplying by smaller numbers. Make it easier. Negative 2 is negative 6 minus 8y minus 4. And again, I like to avoid all possible mistakes. So I'm going to combine this first one with the adapted second. 12 minus 6 is 6x. 8 minus 8 is 0. Negative 8 minus 4 is negative 12. So x equals negative 2. Plug it back in. I'm going to plug back into the second one just because it has smaller numbers. Find our second variable. So negative 6 plus 4y. Add the 6 over. Add the 6 and you get 8. So y equals positive 2. Check your answer. We got it from our second, so I'm going to plug it into our first. 12 times negative 2 plus 8 times positive 2 equals negative 8. Negative 24 plus 16 is negative 8, and that checks out. So we're good. The answer is negative 2, comma, 2. So what are we doing? We are multiplying... Decide which variable to cancel out. And multiply both sides accordingly. Um, one of the things I usually forget is that I forget to multiply the right-hand side. So, add the equation together. Solve for the leftover variable. Because you set it up so that one of the variables would cancel out. Plug in and 
and solve for the other. So the point is, is that again we're getting rid of one of the variables so that we can find the one just by itself. So next example, it's not quite as easy as the first ones because we have to multiply both by something. Now technically you could multiply just the one by one and a half to get to three. We just like to stay away from multiplying by one and a half but it'd be possible. So what if we multiplied this bottom one, think of it like common denominators. Multiply the top by a 2 and the bottom by a 3 because that way we can get it to 6x and negative 6x. So 6x, 2 times 3 is 6, minus 10y, 2 times negative 6 is negative 12, negative 6x. Not a surprise because that's what we planned on it. 21y, 3 times 4 is 12. So the 6x's cross out. You get 11y equals 0. So if you divide by 11, 0 divided by 11, y equals 0. Plug it back in and solve. So 3 times x minus 5 times 0 equals negative 6. That cancels out. 3x equals negative 6. So divide by 3, and you get negative 2. Remember to check it. I'm going to plug negative 2 times negative 2 plus 7 times 0 equals 4. 4 plus 0 equals 4, and that checks out. So, Describe when it's better to use substitution instead of linear combinations. Really, it's quite easy. I mean, all of the, the ones that we did before, when one variable is easily solved for. In other words, avoid fractions at all cost. For example, if you had x plus 3y equals 5, you could easily get that into 5 minus 3y equals x. Does every system have a solution? Well, no, because you might have parallel lines. Keep that in mind. All of these have had answers up until now. I wanted to remind you of the, the other possibilities we have. So, let's use linear combinations. So we have x, we have y. If I multiply this by negative 3, I can get the negative 9. Minus 12y. Positive 6. Remember to multiply both sides. So the x's cancel. The y's cancel. And so we have nothing left over on the side. And 3 plus 6 is 9. That's a false statement. So 0 equals 9, and so everything canceled out. We can't solve for a variable. This is parallel lines. So the answer is that there is no answer, no solution. We have parallel lines. Now, something similar happens, though, when you have infinite solutions. Here's what I mean. If I multiply through on this one, by 5, I can get negative 10x so that the x's will cancel. But I don't realize, as I'm doing that, the y's are going to cancel. And 5 times 2 is 10. So cancel, cancel, 0 equals 0. That's a true statement, meaning that we have the same line. Infinite solutions. And now you realize, oh yeah, one of those equations is the exact multiple of the other one. If you multiply this one by 5, or negative 5, you get this exact equation. All the points on negative 2x minus 4y equals 2 
or the other equation. You could have picked either or because they are the same exact equation. Or if you want to reduce this one and just say, and divide through by the two, all of them are solutions. All right. For 1980 through 1990 coal production and crude petroleum production can be modeled by the following equations. So we've got um, coal and petroleum. During which year were the production levels equal? So we want to know when coal production was equal to petroleum. So in a sense, this was equal to this. And so when it comes to story problems, I'm not one to pick one over the other. But if you subtract the one equation from the other equation, say multiply this by a negative, it'll cancel out. And so if you then subtract, you get 0 equals 86 and a half plus 27 and a half, 114t. And so we subtracted, we added negative 749 equals 114t divide by 114 you get t equals negative 6.57 and so if you Um, if you go back to this equation, t equals 0 represents 1980. If they were the same at negative 6.57, 1980 minus 6.57 is going to be 1973.43. And so... 1973 is when they were equal. Congrats and happy solving systems algebraically.